guys, so I haven't actually vlogged today because I was too busy this morning, but I am back at Fitness First for Shipsgate. This is where I used to work. Um, and I'm here with Alice, she's over there, but she's just charging her phone. And we're gonna train legs today. I'm, like I said, I'm so overdue giving you a workout, so we're gonna do legs. Yeah, you excited for this? Very excited. Okay, so we started our leg workout with sumo deadlifts. Now, these are a bit different to a conventional deadlift because you're taking a wider stance and so you're decreasing the uh, length you have to travel up from the floor, which means you can often go a bit heavier. And I'm um, also, as you can see, I'm turning my feet out. I've got a nice wide stance and therefore I'm hitting my glutes a bit more too because we were going for more of a glute focused session. I started with my sumo deadlift because this is a compound exercise which means I'm hitting a ton of muscles in one go and this is how I like to start all my sessions you'll notice either with like a heavy leg press, a squat or a deadlift of some description. We did about four sets of our maximum eight to ten reps to start us off. So Alice had the great idea of doing single leg Romanian deadlifts as our second exercise and we did a super set for this exercise except I sadly have not got the second exercise to show you as uh, someone didn't film it properly, I'm not going to name names but Alice was behind the camera and I was doing the exercise. Anyways, Alice is demonstrating rather wonderfully how to do a Romanian deadlift um, with on a single leg. It requires an awful lot of balance and as you'll see in the next clip, my version of this exercise isn't quite so graceful, shall we say. I'm really having to work my balance really, really hard. Um, you can see my foot went down there, that's not great. Um, <laughs> the trainers I'm wearing actually aren't ideal for the situation, they're amazing, but they're not ideal because I need a really flat shoe for this kind of work, and in the end I ended up taking my trainer off and doing it in my bare foot, all in my sock, and that worked brilliantly. So the idea is that as I lower down, I'm completely lengthening my hamstring and I'm pushing it to the absolute limit before standing up nice and tall and contracting the muscle and squeezing my glutes. Um, like I said, this is quite an advanced exercise, so maybe a two-legged Romanian deadlift would work be better for you if you're not quite so advanced. The next superset is a front elevated split squat. Now, as you can see, I am really going for time under tension with this exercise, which means I'm constantly putting the muscle under pressure and I'm not relieving it by fully extending my legs. So, this is a nice little technique that I started doing this week and it really, really gets the muscle working and burning. I want you to lower yourself down with about three counts and then you're gonna drive through your front heel, squeeze your glute and engage that glute as you push back up again, not quite going all the way and coming straight back down again as you can see. It kills guys, but it's so good for you. Then we move on to cable pull throughs. Now, these are just another way of doing a Romanian deadlift and instead of having the weight in front of you, you're pulling it from behind you. So this, the principle is the same. We're lengthening our hamstrings and we're working our posterior chain, which is our hamstrings, our glutes, and our lower back. So as you can see, I'm just hinging back, sitting back into my heels, extending my hamstrings and driving through and squeezing my glutes, my butt cheeks, to within an inch of their life. You should really, really got to work this exercise. As you can see from the beautiful faces I'm pulling in this clip, uh, it's not the easiest exercise to do, but it works. It really works. Our final exercise was this drop set. We have this standing hamstring curl, but you could do this on a lying hamstring curl machine. I'm doing five to six heavy reps. It's really, really tough. And then I'm literally taking the weight off, and I'm gonna just do it without any weight, and do the full range of motion for as many reps as I can to failure. So I think I ended up doing between 12 and 15 reps to failure. Um, this is a single leg machine, so I did it on each leg um, three times. So I'm back from the gym. I had to say goodbye to Alice. Um, it was so good to see her. Uh, we yeah, we had a good like hamstring glute session, and I can really really feel it now. I'm actually going to head back to the gym soon to go and teach spin. <laughs> so my legs are taking a pounding today. I don't normally recommend doing like quite such intense training um, twice in one day, um, but at the moment my diary is such that I have to get my training in when I can. And I'm actually not really training much over the weekend because I'm going to a festival which you'll be seeing in a vlog, don't worry. Um, so, I've come back, I'm gonna quickly eat some food, I'm gonna go for some Greek yogurt, banana, some oats and stuff, you'll see, it'll be like a nice little bowl of food, nice and quick, I'm gonna eat that so I've got some fuel back in my body to go back to work, 
and teach spin. So in this we have some total Greek yogurt, about just shy of 250 grams, and banana, obviously. And then this is the granola I love, guys. Spoon cereals, granola, cinnamon and pecan. It's uh, made with maple syrup. It's not full of crappy refined sugar. It's all good stuff and very carby refuel. So when I'm teaching spin on days I'm like sweating a lot, I've been using these electrolytes, some awesome supplements, and they're just really good because I sweat a ton in spin. You'll see me afterwards, I sweat a ton. And it's really good to just like limit my um, dehydration. Um, so yeah, thought I'd show you that, just a scoop of that, some water and ice in there. It tastes like orange squash as well, and it's so delicious to drink. So not only is it great for my hydration, it tastes so damn good too. So I'm just walking back after teaching spin and I just thought I'd show you like how horrendously sweaty I am. I have cooled off a little bit but this, this these rosy cheeks, they're so real. Um, so now I'm just heading home. I am going to make myself some lunch and chill out and get some work done. Oh and most importantly I'm going to shower. <laughs> I'm definitely going to shower. So after legs and teaching spin, climbing up to the third floor, which is where I live, is the hardest part, oh my goodness. So my post spin lunch today is a sweet potato jacket, heck, chicken sausages and broccoli, basically a fancy version of bro food because I haven't had a meal like this in ages, um, I don't know how, I used to, these are like staple foods in my diet but I haven't had this and I'm on a sweet potato kick this week, I've had a sweet potato every day and then I'm going to pop on top um, this chili hot sauce which I totally recommend, it's delicious especially the chipotle one um, and it's all like natural ingredients as well and so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put the Olympics on the telly because I'm obsessed and for a dessert because you know I love dessert um, we had a girl games event last night with Virgin Active and we got these um, goodie bags of food afterwards from Soulmate Food and this is their chocolate raspberry brownie let's just get a closer shot of that oh yeah I had one of these last night and they're insanely good. So I'm gonna have one now. So I wanted to show you um, my new trainers. <laughs> Basically, um, we did a Girl Games event last night, um, like I said before, and um, while I was there, I was kindly um, given these new Adidas trainers that I have been like obsessed with. Um, Alice, as in Clean Eating Alice, who you saw earlier, she had them on a few weeks ago, and I just could not stop staring at them. Like I was so in love with them, and well, I feel like I'm just gonna keep talking about. Them. So they'll be in a favorites video, but I just want to give you a sneak peek in the vlog because they're amazing and they're the best color in the world. It's the color that's like. So good. These are my new trainers. They are the Adidas Boost Uncaged. Okay, maybe I should take them off. Hang on. Look, they just slide off. So they're like this, and they're so pretty, and they're like watermelon colour, and they're just so comfy. If you want trainers that you want to like, you if you're on your feet all day and you want trainers to wear, like these are the best. So good. Totally recommend. I'm already in love, like I said. But they'll come properly in a favourites video soon. Anyways, now I've had my lunch, I've shown you my trainers, um, I think Jack's dad is going to come over soon because we've had a few problems with our kitchen, something's a little bit broken that needs fixing, um, and he's come all the way from Surrey to help us, it's so kind of him. Um, and then I'm going to work this afternoon, I did have a meeting to go to but it's been rescheduled, so I'm going to work this afternoon in my office and then I'm back um, to the gym for a whole evening of clients. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of take you with me. Today not, not loads of stuff is going on, like it's not a crazy busy day, but I just wanted to kind of catch up and back, see me back at work and show you that workout and stuff, so yeah. Okay, to the laptop we go. So I've just come in my office to work and I have this little daily planner thing on my desk which I bought from Paper Chase, it was like not even £5 and my sister's left me the cutest little message Hello Tally, I love you, thanks for having me to stay Top priorities, one, to be brilliant, two, share brilliance with others, three, oh wait, you're doing those My reward, a big cinnamony goodness thing of, I don't know I don't even know what she said, and a hug from your big sis um, tomorrow, eat, sleep, rinse, repeat, fabulousness. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Lydia. I don't know if you're even going to watch this, but thank you. That's made my little day as I sit at my laptop, ready to work. <laughs> So 
so I'm just sitting here working and I get this delivery from Adidas. It's got stickers on the front, don't want to show you my address. So I thought we'd open it together. It comes in a cute bag. I am positive energy. like Tally's trainer haul but sometimes randomly I get sent things <laughs> twice in one day oh it's like marble paper a blogger's dream <gasps> oh. so yeah these are the pure boost X so I have the pure boost uncaged on and these are the X which have this gap in here and especially designed for women and they're really good for running and I really like like doing like classes in them or um, like running and stuff like that. So oh, these feel a bit different to my other ones as well, like a bit more foamy. I'm so lucky, like this honestly never gets old and I every time I feel so lucky and fortunate and yeah, Adidas you spoiled me um, and yeah, like don't think I take this for granted, don't think that you know, like I know how lucky I am to be in this position. Um, I feel very fortunate, I'm very blessed, and I will continue to work hard so I can be in this position. Um, I feel like I'm accept. <laughs> I feel like this has turned into an award acceptance speech. I just want to thank my mum, um, you know, for, for letting me do my thing, and I'm holding a trainer. But yeah, right, that was a lovely distraction. Now it's time to get back to work because I do have a lot to do, and Jack's dad's going to come over soon, and that will distract me again. So I must get on with these emails. I must. Okay, to work. So I'm just heading back to work now. This is one of the most depressing parts about being a personal trainer. It's about half past five and all the nine to fivers are heading home from work and I just went into Tesco's and picked up um, this kind of car. It's maple pecan glazed sea salt thing it's delicious and everyone's like getting their shopping to go home for the evening and uh, actually I'm just heading back out to go to work so <laughs> yeah the joys <laughs> but I love my job so I should not complain and I'm gonna eat this snack. I'm back from work I'm so hungry um, and I think I'm gonna make a pizza Jack's out tonight for dinner um, with his dad um, he was here earlier so I'm gonna make myself a pizza I'm gonna show you how I make it because I use these muscle food pizza bases and they're genuinely amazing and they're gluten-free high protein lower carb um, they're great chill out on the sofa and watch the Olympics. Oh, it's so red. That light was so red. I'm going to chill out and watch the Olympics. I'm loving it right now and it's the diving and uh, yeah, and, I mean I don't really understand the full on like scoring system but get really into it. Just another reason I love Jack. <laughs> Because he is so domesticated, like he's actually far better at ironing than me, aren't you? No, I'm not. Boyfriend of the year. I just like dining. I love it! I just <laughs> fucking love it! It's the best thing in the world! Okay, dessert time. Casein pudding. I'm going to show you how to make casein pudding. You will need some chocolate casein, this is the one I use a cocoa powder or this is a chocolate lovers blend, peanut flour and some almond milk or you can even use cold water. First off you're going to put your casein in a bowl, then add in your cocoa powder or this is a chocolate blend I use, peanut flour, you're going to mix that dry ingredients all together so it's nice and thoroughly mixed through, 
Following that, you're going to add in your liquid. So I'm using about a half a cup, quarter of a cup of almond milk. I actually added in a bit too much this time. Um, and then, once you stir it all in, you'll start to get this like pudding texture. As you can see, it's really thick and creamy and delicious. Yes, I was tasting a bit. I am adding in some brown rice puffs. Now these make it into kind of like a casein crispy pudding, you know like chocolate crispy cakes? But this is the casein pudding version and it's so good and adds volume and some carbs. Then I'm using the Wilton brand new healthy Nutella spread, which I have to say I'm a bit of a fan of. I put on Instagram recently. I love it. It's kind of like a dairy milk fruit and nut spread. It's not very uh, nutella -y, but it's amazing. Following that, I'm adding in a drizzle of chalk shot and boom, my case and pudding is ready. Okay, so that case and pudding was amazing and I enjoyed it lots. Jack's with me now. But we are going to call it an eye and say goodbye. Watching the Olympics is getting really exciting. We just want some chill time on our own. Have you had a good day? Yeah, it's been good. Better seeing you now, man. Um, so that's so disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I hope you like this video, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some training footage. Leave a comment below and let me know what workout you want to see next. Um, I'm going to try and film a lot more for you guys on a regular basis um, because, yeah, I want to do that for you. Also, um, what should they do if they like this video? Subscribe and like. give it a thumbs up. Like it. Yeah, thank you. I can't believe you. I remembered that. It's amazing. I know, you're so good. I've trained him well. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Mwah, goodbye. <laughs>